Shut up. Okay, so first thing we're gonna work on today is a low single. So um, when I do my low single, what I wanna focus on is three different things. One, I have a post hand as I shoot that I'm trying to basically put in the mat and kind of line up in push up position. So like this, what I'm not doing is like diving in and being basically like kind of grabbing this foot. The other thing is head position. When I shoot my little single, I want my head up, same as any shot, but I really need to have it up for this because if I shoot my head down on like a normal shot here, I have an okay chance of maybe finishing if this guy isn't like really good because I can get my head back up. If you shoot a low single here with your head down, your body kind of follows your head and you'll wound up basically going all the way down the mat, which makes it a lot easier for this guy to defend it. So when I shoot my low single, just be square stance. I'm gonna shoot, and for me, I'm right leg lead normally, but most guys you're gonna wrestle are gonna be right leg leads as well. So what I do is I've learned to switch leads as I'm doing this. So rather than just kind of lowering my level and shooting through like that, which is one way to do it, I'll lower my level, kind of hit this knee, step this foot forward, and then basically hit here. So I'm almost like switching lead legs. It's going to feel really awkward when you guys do it for the first time. But once you get used to it, it'll be good because you'll be able to hit it, this on a lot of guys. So here, my knee hits, my post hand hits, this knee steps forward, this knee pivots up. And then I'm going to grab behind the heel and cut back. And my head shooting through and my shoulder hits the leg. So what I'm not trying to do is aim for his knee here with my head, which a lot of people teach like aim for the knee. I don't teach it this way because if I miss and I wound up to the outside, I'm in bad position. The other thing too, if I hit his knee really hard and the defense level of the single is to throw your knee forward, if he feels me doing this and he throws his knee forward, he can hurt me actually, but even if it doesn't hurt enough to stop the match, it's gonna hurt. So I aim to shoot my head between his leg. So again, I'm here, I lower my level I start to pivot over this knee. As this knee is about to hit, I drop to the other one, and I'm gonna hook. My head goes through, my shoulder hits his shin, and then once I'm through, I'm gonna pull my head back, put my head, my temple, on the inside of his knee. Now I'm gonna right hook this leg here. So I'm stepping this foot up now, so the foot that's behind me, same side as my post hand. He's gonna step up, I'm gonna right hook his leg, and then run him down using my head. Now, once I'm here, I'm not, if I need to finish fast, I'll jump up. But if I don't, what I'm gonna do is keep my weight on his, the back of his legs and climb up. So the reason I'm doing that is because in a real match, you don't wanna like over jump it. So now with a little less explaining, I'm moving in my stance here. Maybe Austin's moving. This is an outside shot too, so I'm not gonna be in a tie up and try, a shoot, like try to shoot the low single. I'm gonna move to the outside, start going away from the leg I wanna shoot. And then what I'm gonna do is once I feel like I got him by a step, so right now Austin's square with me, I can shoot a low single here, but I wanna shoot a little bit more across the body. So what I like to do to set up my low single a lot is post on his head, push away, and then once I get this angle, now I step, here, this knee is about to hit. I hit near his toe with my other knee. My shoulder hits. Pull my head back, head inside the knee. Step up, swing for his other knee. Pull his ankles down. Now here, keep his legs together too. Cause then you can actually open up options which we're gonna work on after this, such as a low leg cradle. So here, I climb up, keep my weight heavy. And then once I get this takedown, I'm looking to hunt some sort of position and control. So right now, I can suck in the wrist. Maybe I come up here and just kind of push his head down. Power hit. Something where I get the takedown, and I don't let this guy build right up to his base. So when we get takedowns, we don't want to just basically, if it's any type of takedown here, if I double him down, I don't want to just let him be here. And then I got to do all this extra work to break him down. If you take a guy down to his belly, keep him there. So here, grab his wrist, pull it in. 
have options, you know, hammer lock, whatever, but you want to get the takedown for that. So, again, here, the way I'll have you guys set it up, so if you're right leg lead, which everybody's right leg lead, I think, um, you post your left hand on the side of his head, you circle that leg, now this guy might reach up. If he reaches up to basically grab that wrist or he thinks I'm trying to tie up, that's fine. I'm just going to clear that and post away. So again, post on the side of his head, circle hard, the opposite side of his lead. Once I get this angle, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I don't need to be shooting per like perfectly that angle, but I want my toe facing his the inside of his foot. If we're facing the same way, I can still get this but he's gonna have a lot longer to see me coming. So when I shoot like this here, he sees me level change. He sees me shoot straight in. And if this guy's pretty fast, he might have time to step his foot back. So when I shoot this angle here, rotate here, he doesn't have as much time because he's gotta correct his head and pull his head back. So I reposition his head, lower level. Knee's about to hit, as this is about to hit. I jump my other knee to his foot, shoulder hits his leg, hit him in the shin. Shoulder to the shin hurts a lot. So in a real match speed, that enough is almost enough to take a lot of guys down. But once I reposition my head, head inside the knee, hook, pull him down, slide the body, trap a wrist, hold it. Anybody see it again? Good, good, good. Alright, let's try like tiny sky, we're just rotating. Ready? Three, two, one.